Hey, good evening, guys. A farmer here. Just doing a little live stream here tonight. A lot of you know we're in full swing tobacco harvest here. Uh, we did have about an inch and a half of rain. In a short amount of time tonight. Hey guys, how's it going here? Well, today we had a nice little rainstorm come through. Got things nice and wet again. But it's a gorgeous evening. We were working on uh, tobacco. I'm gonna turn you around here a minute. So we had a nice rainstorm, I was saying earlier. And uh, just kind of winding down here for the evening. Hey Massey. Doing good. Got rained out here this afternoon in the tobacco field. <laughs> the rain's nice, but uh, I need to keep working on our tobacco. Made a nice mess here again with the mud. Sorry for being a little jumpy here. Yeah, a lot of mud again. Uh, I got one wagon sitting in the field here. We just left it go. Is it coming through all right? It looks clear on this side so far. Good. Uh, the question, we had a question, how many, uh, well, how many cows are we running on the farm here? Or farmer, I guess. Well, we're a cow and calf operation. We run feeder calves, Holstein feeder calves. So, there's about a hundred and uh, I think it's tough, roughly around 158 here now. 159, we just had another calf down here in the flat. No, all the tobacco won't be cut. I want to go down here and show you our new calf here. You can see how wet it's in here. We had about an inch and a half of rain in about 20 minutes. So. I can hardly walk here. So wet. Yeah. Mm. 
Now she don't want to stay around for me. <laughs> Where's your baby? Yeah, this is Winston, our new uh, calf here. I have five more heifers due this week, which they probably won't have until tomorrow or next week sometime. I'm gonna let them go because they don't want to be, they don't want to be talked to. Yeah, I was worried the corn was gonna blow over. It hit us so hard. I mean, the corn was leaning. Sorry for the sun there. I mean, this was bone dry out here today. Um, we were out looking for this calf at 9.30 last night, and I was worried it got in the cornfield. Yeah, I hope it's not uh, too bright on the screen for you guys. I'm trying not to look directly in it. Sorry about that, I had a cow want to get in here. Got a jet coming in up there. We're not too far from the uh, airport, so we get a lot of planes flying over. How's Australia? Got a couple calves in here. Yeah, it's my birthday. I turned 40 today. Well, I'm gonna we'll go over here in a minute, and I'm gonna pull a couple ears. It really indented pretty hard here. Uh, I think the milk line's down about a quarter. Hey, thanks, Jacob. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like another day for me, but. Uh, I'm just glad I made it to 40. Uh, probably the 4250 is my favorite tractor. I'm 40 today. The big 4-0. Come on up here. Hey, thanks. Hello. Yeah, so, uh, and some of you guys missed it, but today we had a nice, uh, a nice rainstorm come through and, uh, make it a mud, mud hole here again. Now, the tobacco's going good. We did, uh, we probably this week we did not quite two acres here. And uh, I have a wagon sitting down there below the tobacco field sitting full. There's one over there underneath the tree and two up in the barn. So we had a pretty good day. Um, it's really hot here. And then we had a rainstorm come in around, uh, I think it was right around 3 o'clock. Hey, thanks. <laughs> well, I don't want to get there too quick. 
The next piece is going to be a new big baler. A John Deere new big baler. That would be the next uh, purchase here. Hey, thanks from Ireland. Um, the John Deere dealerships close to me. Uh, they're coming out with the new model, the 2018 model with a bigger pickup head on it. Um, I like New Holland. I have nothing against New Holland. But, you know, I, I like green around here too. This is another cow or heifer here do. I don't know if she, they don't even really show that they're going to have a calf. They just start holding their tail up. She swelled up a little bit. Yeah, my son helps out a lot. This was the, probably the nicest year I had working with tobacco. He, he does a lot. Um, I like going to farm auctions, but I have a problem of buying stuff that I don't need. And it's probably like a lot of farmers. We go to an auction and you just see something, oh, that's cheap. Well, a minute ago it was cheap, but then until you're done bidding, it got expensive. So you, some of you guys know how that goes. Ah, uh, he's running a lot of equipment. You would be surprised, Jacob. He does a lot around here. I'm just going to get lath and stuff for me. He jumped on the mower and went and got more uh, lath and he just uh, makes my day go a lot better. I'm not getting any younger so these guys these guys are going to have to take over someday for me. I, he's eight years old and uh, he's going into third grade here. Yep, that's ground corn, soybean, uh, chocolate, baked goods, um, minerals. They really gain weight on that stuff. Hey, thanks, Jacob. I'm just waiting here to uh, they clean that up a little bit. So yeah, I turned 40 today, and I was telling some guys, uh, we, as a family, we have accomplished so much here on the farm in a short period of time, but yet still I have a lot to learn in life. Seems like when you have something figured out, something changes right away. So... Well, that'd be a good uh, that would be a good uh, video for us, Massey Eleven Five. There's a lot of guys that like John Deere out there. What are you saying? When are you gonna have your baby? Tonight? Hmm? Boy, the soybeans really took off today. They really needed the heat. We haven't been really having a lot of heat like we just had here last day and a half.
Yeah, it's always good when the stuff's cheap at a sale. Just gonna sit you down here for a minute. I don't know if you can see that, but the milk line's down about a quarter. This stuff would be ready to chop this year here. I would start chopping this probably uh, Monday or Tuesday if the ground's fit. There you can see it's down a quarter. I don't like to get it down much more than a half for chopping. We'll go up here to the other end here in a minute. That's pretty nice corn. This has big ears on it. Pioneer. What's the questionnaire, Massey Love? Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> well, the breeze finally picked up here a little bit. Yeah, when the storm came through uh, this afternoon, this stuff was all leaning hard, and I was afraid it was going to snap. Yeah, when we, uh, the, this, uh, T number had real nice uh, stalk strength to it and uh, health and some of those ears they're huge they're almost nine inches long ten inches some of those uh, ears there they have a little damage on top here from the birds but Stuff really drying down. Yeah, that'd be a new pickup truck. I'm, I'm not much of anything else for uh, midlife. <laughs> Might be some deer out here. Boy, look at that sky. I don't know what the camera shows, but that's amazing. Yeah, we're not going to chop much in this field here. This is a big field here. Um, I might just chop the end rows off or just out there by the house a little bit. Um, this will make some nice corn silage. Hey, Scotty. The 
These are the double crop uh, soybeans here. They really shot up here. They really look nice. I don't know. Do you think I'm going to have to spray them again, Scotty? There are Really putting the flowers on and they're just starting to push the beans there the pods there now some of the questions go go away so fast here I don't have a chance to to read them so if I don't want I'm not trying not to. Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. The question was where are we located, Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. <laughs> the sun's just headed down here shortly. Yeah, the farmer's son, he mows this waterway for me now. Uh, somebody asking, you know. Um, I think they're group three beans here. If that's the question. Yeah, group three. And they're double crop. There's wheat standing then in that field. And then this was the old uh, alfalfa field. And you can see the deer damage here on the edge, but not much. We have, uh, you know, we'll have a few deer through here. Last night there was probably about 15 of them out here when we were looking for this calf. But it's starting to put a year on. This is a uh, 109 day corn pioneer number. Um, and this field was planted at uh, deer. The deer, they have four legs. The the farmer who rents our land, they the beans he put or place are knee high. Yeah, you guys, those, those will be uh, early bean. Our uh, early beans will be a lot taller. We we have some that are waist high uh, here too, or higher yet. But this corn, I think, is going to do all right too. And I think it'd do better if we chop it. I know, Scotty, that's okay. I thought maybe I'd see some four-legged ones for you. Yeah, that's what uh, I was gonna make. See, I don't wanna be chopping this corn down here. I'll take you up here, uh, 705. I'll show you some beans up here in a minute. I'm surprised there's not, not a lot of... Hey, thanks for the Pippi Farms. Um, you, this... Yeah, well, you got, you got to feed the deer, too. Uh, you just can't, uh... I don't know. You can't have it all both ways, but... Yeah, this this corn I don't want to be shelling. This gonna this might push 285, 300 bushel down here in this ground. That big corn down here. 
Yeah, today's my birthday. I turned 40. That's the uh, title of the video, so... I'm not going through midlife crisis or anything yet, but... I was telling everybody I've, I've accomplished so much so far, but I have so much to learn yet. So... I was working all day in the tobacco field. Yeah, 40 years still wet behind the ears. I got a lot to learn yet. Yeah, I know. I, I don't take anything too serious. I won't be going out buying no Corvette or anything like that. Yeah, tobacco's a lot of hard work. Question what is, is if you ever dealt with tobacco, <laughs> yep, it's just a number. <clears throat> yeah, um, we just got a letter. I have to be careful what we say, but uh, the price went up on the tobacco for the wrappers and uh, the money looks really good if we can get the, keep the quality we'll do really well this year on the tobacco wrappers that's what they use to wrap your cigars There's no air moving down here. Big corn on both sides. Yeah, that's right, Scotty. And the, what, what I do every day, I feel like I'm still at 25. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is to spend only $40,000 on equipment anymore. That's like buying my 4250. I paid uh, 35,000 for that. But everything else was up over a big chunk of money. <laughs> now this year we will be married 13 years, me and my wife. She puts up a lot with me. Yeah, I would love to find fenders for that 4250. These are uh, early beans here. This is not my field. It was for sale and I didn't buy it. I should have, but... These are, uh, these are waist high beans here. That's a nice looking field of soybeans. That's almost up to my chest there in the middle. But they have beans all the way up to the top here. I just wanted to show you some big beans. Boy, it's hot and muggy out right now. <laughs> that is big corn. <laughs> well, I there again, it's all on quality in that bale. And see, I graded three different bales, so each bale's gonna be a little bit more or less. 
and um, we have some uh, tobacco companies that watch our videos so I got a little scolding the other day and uh, that's why I'm gonna just be up front with some of the questions like that uh, I, I might be being tricked and I just don't want to lose what I have going for me right now if that makes sense So, it's a lot of money when it comes to a bale of tobacco. I appreciate that because I don't know which guys are uh, tobacco farmers and stuff like that. Um, we grow different types of tobacco than it's down south. The PA-41, they might have something... Yes, we do good. We do good with the tobacco. Uh, it's a lot of work, but we do really well with it. So, I'd like to say more about it and stuff, but uh, it's just one of those things I, I was scolded out a little bit. <laughs> I hope it's not too shaky. I'm walking. I'm trying to make up time here before it gets dark. We usually don't do too much on birthdays. Farmers are... Farmers don't take much time off. I seen some corn today. It was only about knee high. And it's real local here. This is a wet spot here. It's only about a 10 by 20 or something like that. Uh, but you can see the big corn on the other side there again. So I do have some bad corn, you know. I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> Scotty, I had I have so much tobacco. If I take a day off and I don't put out so many laughs, uh, I I want to get it done. Uh, so I'm not I'm not wait, worried about frost date and stuff like that. And. Uh, the quality is really good. Yeah, I wonder how that corn's gonna do this year. Um, for us, I seen that field today and I was really shocked. Uh, I don't even know where I was anymore. Or maybe it was the other day, I don't know. All my days run together, sorry. But today is the 18th. Today is my birthday. And it's just, we don't count them as uh, year, uh, years anymore. We call them levels. So I'm only at a level 40. So I have a little ways to catch up with Scotty and and uh, soybean farmer. Ha, <laughs> Well, you don't need to send me that. You just show up someday and I'll take you for a steak dinner.
Did you, any of you guys get out to uh, State College to uh, Penn State there? Ag progress days? Yeah, Massey 1105, I really, driver, I really enjoy your videos. <laughs> That's okay, Bill. We just ought to be thankful every year we get. The wife uh, took the kids down to Pop Pops tonight, so they're all going to stay down there tonight. And uh, there's a thing going on at church. They call it f like a fun fest where they have a bunch of things, games and stuff for the kids. They worked hard this week, so. And then our, our um, Elizabethtown Fair starts here next week, Monday. Yeah, I have a couple of stocks down here that have three years, but not many. Yeah, the kids, they, they deserve... Uh, they, our kids work hard. We don't have TV in the house and stuff for them. And, uh, and I did that by choice because... On a farm, there's not much time to sit around and watch TV. Especially when we have bottle calves again. Well, if guys have any good advice for me, now I turn 40, I hit the club, I guess. Halfway there to 80, so. I wonder if he had a, he probably, you guys had a little drier weather. Um, I wonder what his bushels were down there, David. I could probably chop Monday or Tuesday here on this farm, or I in mean this field over here on my right. The milk line hit a quarter here, so it goes fast now. I was thinking about making a pile, but I don't know for sure yet. Hello back from Nebraska. How are you doing tonight? <clears throat> I want to take you in here. Great. I want to take you in here into the one uh, barn here quick. Where, where am I, where was I born? Is that the question? Oh, uh, Weebsport, Pennsylvania. <laughs> um... Oh, we're going to have a custom chopper come in. I'm trying to move a little faster here because I want to get down here and show you the tobacco that's hanging in the barn.
before it gets dark here. Now, now we didn't have any, uh, <laughs> we didn't have anybody come and help us here on the farm with tobacco. It's just me and my wife. And I want to show you, she lifts these lath up and I'm up on the rails and she'll push them up to me. I can't go in much more here because it's getting dark, but I just want you to see that. She works at a hospital and these are not light. I mean, these boys are heavy. And she'll grab a hold of that lath. This will be in here for about two, two and a half months. It all depends on the weather. But she'll shove those uh, lath up to me. And that makes a big help for me because I have to move them two or three times. Too much work, yeah. You have to have you have to have work to make a little money. Yeah, she she puts her everything she has into this farm for me. I I couldn't do it without her. That's right, nothing's ever free. Yeah, she has a full-time job. And the she works in the operating room. I wanted to show you some of my... Uh, see you, Scotty! My, my son, he has all kind of projects going on in my shop. So it's a little mess in here. He tore that wagon apart. He's always doing something. Hey, thanks. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate all the happy birthday wishes. And um, I'm going to let you guys go here. i got to finish up a couple chores, then uh, get into the house here. So we'll talk to you later. And uh, if I missed any comments, let them in uh, down below this video. Thanks for everybody stopping over. We'll talk to you later, guys.